the truth about the Trump presidency. Part one. As Donald Trump runs for a second term, it's important to revisit his presidential record and remember his administration's most notable milestones, starting with his economic performance. Despite promising to bring back manufacturing jobs, the U.S. lost 154,000 factory jobs during Trump's tenure, and the share of private sector employees working in manufacturing fell below 10% for the first time since the government started tracking the data in 1939. In fact, Trump had the worst jobs record of any president on record, with more than 3 million jobs lost. Even prior to the pandemic, job growth under Trump ran about 3%, less than under Barack Obama. Joe Biden's presidency saw an increase of 6 million jobs, and the economy is nearly 10% larger under Biden than at Trump's pre-pandemic peak. Before COVID, average incomes had fallen under Trump by over $1,000 per household. For those earning less than $250,000 a year, their income was greater in 2016 during Obama's last year in office than in 2019 under Trump. Under Biden, wage gains have finally exceeded that of inflation, due in large part to the administration's pro-labor policies. The Trump administration, however, pursued policies that only benefited the wealthy and corporations, like the massive Trump tax cuts, which rolled back the taxes of billionaires to the 1910s, so that they paid less than school teachers, factory workers, and retirees. Trump also reduced the corporate tax rate from 35% to 21%, and he forgave a significant portion of unpaid taxes that multinationals had been hiding in tax shelters since the 1980s. As a result, the tax burden to fund the government shifted from companies to the working class, who are now responsible for 86% of federal revenue. This giveaway to the wealthiest Americans added $2.3 trillion to the national debt, creating more debt than any non-wartime president in U.S. history. Trump's tax cuts cost the U.S. government more than Biden's infrastructure bill, Inflation Reduction Act, American Rescue Plan, CHIPS, PAC, student debt forgiveness, and funding the IRS combined. To be continued in part two.